Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a video that I always do. It's an unboxing or first impression of the holiday bundle from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Now, I bought my bundle from Beautylish.com because I tried to order it on Jeffree Star's website like literally a minute after it came out and I wasn't able to submit my order. It kept saying it was sold out and I wasn't going to pay for each one individually and on Beautylish I got free shipping whereas on JeffreeStarCosmetics.com I would not have. So I ordered mine from Beautylish, I got the bundle, the first time it wouldn't go through and the second time it wouldn't go through but I got a confirmation. I don't know, I was just having a bad day. So it came in a little box like this. It doesn't have the Jeffree Star logo on the tape because it didn't come from his warehouse, it came from Beautylish and I don't even know how to open this box. And Beautylish has super fast shipping. I literally got a confirmation email that it had been shipped maybe three hours later. So they were, they were clearly ready for the launch. And I would suggest getting them from Beautylish if you have not already and it came in this box with the Jeffree Star tissue paper now this isn't like the tissue paper with the stars that he provided Beautylish made the special tissue paper that has all of Jeffree Star's tattoos on it now I don't know about you but I think that that is amazing like look at the detail the tissue paper has his Anna Nicole Smith tattoo, his red rum tattoo, um, maybe I should turn them over. Anna Nicole Smith, red rum, jaws, a lipstick tube, a gun, Edward Scissorhands, um, Wednesday Adams, John Benet Ramsey, I think that's what her name was, uh, Moda Lisa, Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman, this is one of his newest ones, a tiger, Elvis, um, Twiggy. So I think this is cool that, oh, and one of his dogs. It's cool that the tissue paper was created for this. And I'm going to save it, not rip it, because this is awesome. Um, I didn't get a little handwritten note with this one, and normally Beautylish sends handwritten notes, so I'm a little, a little sad about that. Alright, so let's get started. It's also wrapped in black tissue paper, and then, wow, this is just amazing comes wrapped in a brown bag that has a string on it, kind of like an old, an old vintage mail parcel. And inside are, woo! Inside are all five of the Velour Liquid Lipsticks, which come in the special holiday packaging that are white. They're white with white gold and this is beautiful. I like the pink packaging, but this white is very sleek. So I'm going to swatch all of these like I normally do. And I think I'm going to start with from lightest to darkest, and then I'll do Drug Lord, the white one, last. So let me start with Doll Parts. Doll Parts is a pink. And the lipsticks themselves even have the white with the rose gold. And this is so cute. I love the packaging. So this is Doll Parts. And if you're wondering what it looks like in comparison to his other pinks, here is uh, Queen Supreme, Prom Night, and Masochist. So it doesn't look like these two at all. If anything, it looks more like Queen Supreme, but it's not a neon pastel. It's just your typical muted baby pink. So let me go ahead and try that on. Now, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know I'm not a fan of pink, but I have to have all of his lipsticks in my collection, so I had to get it. And I actually at first didn't think that this pink would look good on me because of my skin tone but it actually looks really good I like it it's very subtle so I could wear this to a more professional setting and not feel like I'm blinding people though I wear 
I'm royalty in a professional setting when I'm at work. Um, it's really pretty. Like, I don't like pink normally, but I really like this color. I think it looks very nice on me. The formula is just like all the other Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. So this is Doll Parts. Go ahead and wipe it off. And after I wiped it off, it kind of has a brown or nude undertone. Like, I think it's why it's so universally flattering. Alright, so the next color I'm going to swatch is going to be Androgyny. Androgyny is a color that has already sold out. Um, Jeffree Star said that they'll be releasing a small batch this week, but this color sold out in no time and this is what androgyny looks like it's like a pinky nude or a brown I don't really know how to describe it this is what it looks like in comparison to doll parts they may look similar but doll parts is clearly more pink and then in comparison to the other nudes that Jeffree Star has done here they are this is celebrity skin I'm nude and posh spice it's still more pinky than both of them and pinkier than or it's pinkier than all of them and pinkier than Celebrity Skin. So I'm going to try on Androgyny. I'm really excited about this one. As were millions of other people. This one has a weird smell. It's not as bad as Dirty Money was, but it is a weird smell. Excuse my phone. Wow. Out of all of the nudes, I actually like this one the best. And I felt like the other nudes, Posh Spice, I'm Nude definitely, and Celebrity Skin kind of washed me out and didn't really complement my skin tone well, so I had to put it on lightly and definitely use a lip liner. Androgyny I could wear by itself. It doesn't need a lip liner. It's a very nice nude. I could wear this every day when I'm going to an interview at work. This is a very nice color. I was not expecting it from what it looks like in the tube, but I really, really, really like this. I really like this. This is androgyny. I don't even want to take it off. I think I'm going to put it back on later. So pretty. So the next color I'm going to swatch is going to be... Ho 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 or Mistletoe? Ho Ho Ho. Ho 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 is a red with metallic shimmer in it. Now, just because metallic doesn't mean that it's not matte. It's still a matte lipstick. It's similar to Anastasia Beverly Hills' Sad Girl, where it has shimmer in it that you can see, but it dries to a matte finish. And this one is in between Red Rum and um, Unicorn Blood. So... Here is Unicorn Blood on this side, and this is Red Rum. So it's between the two of them. So let me go ahead and try on Ho Ho Ho, and it's Ho 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 spelled with an E. H-O-E, H-O-E, H-O-E. I'm very excited. Ooh. So, this is Ho Ho Ho. Upon first glance, I can't even tell that it's metallic. Like, I can't see it at all. Um, I'm going to try what Jay Kissa suggested in her and Jeffree Star's video of, like, once it's drying, like, tap your finger on it. And that makes it more metallic. So, I'll just give it a minute to dry. Um, oh, when I move my lips, I can see... 
a bit of the pink glitter, but it really doesn't look metallic to me. Like Anastasia Beverly Hills Sad Girl, which I was wearing the other day, and I wore it in a Get Ready With Me on my channel. That, you can tell it is metallic. This, you can't really tell it's metallic. So let me try doing what she suggested. Nothing. I don't know how I feel about this color. It's a beautiful red, but in terms of what it was supposed to deliver and being metallic, I don't see its metallicness at all. I see chunky chunks of pink glitter, depending on the way I look at my lips. But it's not metallic. It's just red with pink glitter. I like the color for what it is, but I'm a bit disappointed. I thought it was going to be metallic. So, this is Ho Ho Ho. So next we have definitely the most unique color in this bundle, and this is Mistletoe. And Mistletoe is a bright holly green. Yes, look at that. And if you're wondering what it looks like in comparison to Dirty Money, they look nothing alike. Dirty Money is pastel and pale, and Mistletoe is a true green. It is beautiful. Now I'm curious, this has that disgusting smell that Dirty Money had. If you watched my videos watching that, you know that it smelled terrible. And I've heard other people say it did as well. Like, oh, it smells even worse than it did when I did that video. Um, and Doll Parts had kind of a similar smell. So let's swatch Mistletoe and let's hope it doesn't smell terrible. So excited about this one. Look how clean the applicator looks and I'm just about to mess it all up. No smell at all. Whoo! Yes! Um, it's a little thin. As you can see, I had to dip back in, and normally one one swipe covers my whole mouth, and this time it didn't, so that's a little disappointing, but wow, look at this color. This is beautiful, and you know, I've never owned a green besides Dirty Money, and that was the first one I've ever owned, and you would expect them to not look that great, and to make your teeth yellow, but this doesn't really make my teeth look yellow. I think it maybe has a blue undertone in it. This is beautiful, and especially for the holidays, I mean, I work in retail, and the holiday season can be taxing and get a little boring, but, you know, we like to spice it up and, you know, dress festively. And this green is definitely something I'm going to wear and my coworkers are going to freak out when they see it. But I love this. Mm. I mean, you need to shake it up. It's separating onto the cracks in my lips. And you can see it's very thin on my top lip. And I'm hoping that that's not something that's normal because I can't really use a lip liner with this because I don't have a green like this or green eyeliner that's this color. So I'm thinking this one. Oh, look, it just came off. This one is coming off as I'm reapplying. This one would definitely have to be one you do two layers of and let it dry completely. I mean, the formula is disappointing me a little bit right now with how, like, patchy it's being and how thin it is. But it is a beautiful color, and you can't really tell from far away. I'm just anal about that sort of thing. But, um, this is Mistletoe. Last, but certainly not least, we have Drug Lord, which is a pure... Cocaine white, and I'm sure that's why it's named Drug Lord because it's reminiscent of the color of cocaine. And this color is not made so much as to be worn on its own, but to be mixed with other colors to create lighter shades. Now, you can wear Drug Lord on its own if you have that kind of personality, and you can rock it and pull it off. You can wear it on its own, but it is made to be mixed with other colors. And I will make another video on how I mix Drug Lord and Weirdo, which is the black, and create my own custom colors. I have a few ideas I want to try. 
like this with abused weirdo with dirty money this with Anna Nicole and just a couple other ideas I'm excited um, but I'm gonna try it on for the sake of this video so you can see how good the formula is because Jeffree Star said that he spent a lot of time working on this formula and let's see if he did a good job mmm this has a bad smell Oh, wow. Now, I'm finding it hard to get a clean application, as you can imagine, because it's pure white. So, forgive me if it looks terrible, but even though I look ridiculous, I like literally look crazy, this wouldn't even be cute if I was trying to be an ice queen. Um, it is a great formula. Like, look how pigmented this white is. You know, even when you're doing Halloween looks and you get white face paint, not all white face paints are actually white. They barely show up on your skin, but look how pigmented this white is. Now, I look crazy, but it's a very great formula, and I felt like I needed to swatch it, even though most people probably wouldn't wear it as is. Um, it is a very beautiful color. So, this is all of the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. This is all of the liquid lipsticks and the Jeffree Star Holiday Bundle. They are all still available separately except Androgyny right now. Androgyny is sold out, but Jeffree Star is releasing a small batch next week. So if you want it, I would say stock the website until you can find it. I'm not sure. Ugh, I have makeup wipe in my mouth. I'm not sure about the availability on Beautylish. I just know from what I've seen Jeffree Star update on social media about the others. I would say it is definitely worth your bargain. If you missed out on the bundle, I'm sorry, but the bundle was a really good deal. You got all of them for $75 when you would have paid at least $80 otherwise. And if you ordered them from Beautylish, because they were over a certain price, you got free shipping, like I did. And then you got the cool tissue paper as well. So this is all of the colors in the bundle. Um, you have some more wearable shades and you have some not so wearable shades, unless that's your thing. And I will totally be rocking mistletoe. I'm excited about these. I love them. A couple of them had a funky smell like doll parts and drug lord and a little bit of mistletoe. But Jeffree Star killed it again with the colors. And I love the names like Ho Ho Ho, Mistletoe, Androgyny. I like that one. So if I had to pick my favorite out of all of them, that'd be hard. Obviously Androgyny because it was just so wearable. But Mistletoe also because it's so unique. And doll parts, which I don't normally like pink. I like that as well. And so this is what all of the lipsticks look like. Um, if Jeffree Star comes out with more lipsticks, I'll do first impressions on those as well. Don't know if I'll be buying the bullet lipsticks because I'm not a fan of satin finish. I like more matte. But who knows? I probably won't be able to help myself. I need everything that he makes. I did not get any of the lip scrubs because I felt like I didn't need them. I have Lush Lip Scrub, and how many lip scrubs do you really need? And my lips don't really get crusty, so I didn't feel like I needed them. Maybe I'll order them when I'm out of my Lush one. So that is all for today, guys. Keep an eye out on my video of how to mix Weirdo and Drug Lord to make your own custom shades. And until next time, bye! And if you want to see what my whole Jeffree Star collection looks like, here it is. All of the lipsticks, oh, one of them's upside down. All of the lipsticks he's ever come out with right here. Look at my collection. So awesome. It's a rainbow of colors.